way, congratulations on making it this far in the competition. You were incredible. Thank so um, I love the fact that you're a one woman band, but I just want to get an idea of your musical influences because you're so musically inclined. So let's say for one night that you have to compile a band with all of your musical influences. Who's in the band? Okay, so that, I love this question. John Bonham would be on the drums from Led Zeppelin. He is my favorite, which is hard because I also really love Stuart Copeland, um, okay. a big influence from the police. He really shaped their sound. Oh, this is hard, man. Oh, I feel like Sting would have to be on bass. Although I would love Paul McCartney to be in the band. So we have to throw him on guitar, even though that's not always his jam. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, do I, do I need to choose a singer too? No, I want you to lead it. Okay. Yeah. So me, Paul Sting and John. That's perfect. <laughs> Congratulations once again. Amazing job tonight. Thank you. And I love your question. Really. That's, I love it. Pedro, <laughs> hi, Bree. What's up? <laughs> great, great job tonight. You got to be is one of my life mantras. So great song selection. I wanted to ask you, aside from obviously winning this season of AGT, what is the next best blessing that you two could hope for as a duo? Ooh, oh, Disney. That's a, yeah. <laughs> Disney. I love being, I don't, you know, a channel that's, that kids watch because what's the uh, what's the cartoon characters rock uh wreck it ralph and penelope from yeah wreck it ralph if they would do you know a movie a movie or a musical yeah. i don't know i just feel like no one has ever seen us and as far as our heights are different you right. know say like everything is different about us but our voices come together so well and so you know that endless possibilities, but we've always wanted to see what, you know, what Disney could offer, you know, one day and just go from there. Absolutely. We're manifesting. Congratulations, you two. Great job tonight. You're established in your field, at, but what has this season taught you about your own gifts and talents? Um, really what I've taken away from a lot of what I've seen this season is I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm a shitty dancer. <laughs> So that's what I learned. When you watch people like the Mayans and you watch, uh, you realize how talented people are and you, you, you see how, you know, um, dedicated people are, you know, I'm just a comic. I, I get paid for everything I've ever been in trouble for, expelled for, you know, people gotten, people getting angry at me for. And then I watch people who have such um, look at Nicholas, you know, watch what he's able to do with his artistry and his sleight of hand and projection and animation. Uh, it makes you, it makes me feel like uh, I really have so little to offer compared to most of the people and acts that I watch. Well, thank you so much, Howie. You're amazing in your own field. So congratulations and thank you so much. Thank you. Heidi, you look absolutely amazing. Okay, <laughs> amazing. So I want to ask you both as judges and coaching the contestants, how do you two feel like you would navigate the show as contestants yourselves? God, I mean, I just said to someone, I have absolutely no talent whatsoever <laughs> to ever be a contestant. Heidi is multi-talented, though. Thank you. Which I know is. that. I know. I know. Keep it coming. We just, that's it. You are multi-talented. I've always said that. So Heidi would be great. I'd be useless. You know. So. Well, Heidi, how would you navigate being a contestant? How would I navigate? Mm -hmm. I would just bulldoze right through. I no, I would be shaking like a little leaf, but I would just go for it. I would probably make, um, I would make um, sauerkraut soup while I yodel. Oh, that's an act. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen anything like that. It could work. Good for that. You Thank you so much. Thank you. So congratulations. Your performance and presentation were both amazing and beautiful tonight. Making it this close to the finale, what has it taught you about your team's talent? ま、
So uh, we have different uh, talents on our team from gymnasts to engineers to dancers. So uh, as we get closer to the final, each talents are, are kind of combining, uh, joining together uh, to form this performance. So uh, we, we really, really feel that as a team, we're getting stronger as we get closer to the finals. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again and good luck. Okay, so say that I wanna be a ventriloquist. Yes. Give me one tip for success and then give me one thing not to do. Well, uh, the tip I can give you is do something you feel like, something you love, something you believe, and that's all. Uh, and try to do what you think is going to work and when it makes you happy and it makes you enjoy uh, yourself. Uh, but, and, and then the tip of not, uh, don't, don't do what other people tell you to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good one. You can listen to advice, you can listen to advice, but always believe in your um, instinct. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you so much. Good luck and congratulations. Thank you. You had probably my favorite act tonight. So great job and congratulations. What are you hoping that your story teaches uh, the audience at home and people who are dealing with similar obstacles? Well, I was really inspired by um, other disabled comics I saw on AGT. Um, and so I'm hoping that somebody takes that away, whether it's comedy or anything that they want to pursue with. Um, I hope it's a little bit of visibility, especially for deaf and hard of hearing people, that this is something that you can do because we need more deaf and hard of hearing comedians. Um, but I'm hoping that anybody, if they see, you know, if they don't see people like them represented, knowing that you can be that representation. And I, and I hope that I'm proof of that, that you can create that. Absolutely, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much and good luck. Hi guys, great job tonight to both teams, uh, incredible. Um, so I have two separate questions. So for Cl the Klein Twins, um, I was vibing during your whole performance. So I wanna know how does your uh, music influence your talents? And then for Funkinometry, I wanna ask you, as a team that found a lot of success on social media, what does your rise to stardom say about the future of social media and people getting exposure? Should we, uh, I should answer first. Hey, we should. Yeah. So what I would say, it's just like, it's just like with dancing, like you just kind of hear the music and feel it. Yeah. So you just kind of hear those beats. It's something that helps. Like we, yeah, we, we always are doing it to music basically. Yeah, so. You can just put it together with music and so sorry, music and really feel <laughs> yourself. <laughs> yeah. I think for ours, I think I get the question. It's like, about well, like, social media and like what can come out of that. If you like what you're doing and the passion that we have, we just started yeah, yeah. posting it and then we got here. So it's pretty cool. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. You guys are so dope. Congratulations and good luck to all of you. Hi. Great job tonight, Nicholas. That performance was mind blowing. So I just want to pick your brain and I want to ask you what's your creative process? How do you even begin to think of your magic ads? Or plan them. One day uh, I was on my own and uh, I take a video projector and um, in, on, on the top of my table, then I uh, take my card and I play with that. that and it just it just evolved from there. <laughs> yes, what is that? Wow, you're incredible. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck. Great job tonight. Great job tonight and beautiful song. One of the things that the judges mentioned is how your confidence has grown throughout um, this season. And I wanted to get your personal insight on how you feel like your confidence has grown from the moment you first auditioned till now. Uh, I think... Um... Uh, the biggest thing for me is hearing from people um, uh, and just that um, uh, I've um, uh, inspired them. Uh, that's just been so um, touching to me. I love it. Your story is amazing. Great job. Congratulations and good luck.